the end of the day is it true true love timeless davido this is my boy again adam sling welcome back good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from davido fans whiskey fans moriah fans timeless fans welcome back again of course you guys know the trend currently about uh, whiskey and davido fight however davido camp is the one uh, throwing some kind of shade that whiskey and whiskey is talking directly as usual like a prophet <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, there is a new name now, now Frogido. We, are, we hardly know the meaning of Frogido, but uh, don't forget, Whiskey was the one that gave David Doe the frog, and then David Doe turned it into an icon, turned it into a song, and turned it into a logo, then turned it into almost the second logo of Teddy BJ Gang, and also turned it into a uh, money making machine so david o turned a nickname into a money making machine so guys you know it's a win-win they compensate each other unknowingly to them or they will know that they compensate each other you know competition is good you see ronaldo and messi one of the reasons why we talk about ronaldo and messi for so long apart from the work they put into their craft a part of the work they put in, in on the pitch and doing all this was incredible scoring. It's just that fans couldn't stop talking about them. And their fans genuinely wish them luck. And if your fans genuinely wish you luck and they want you to win against the other person, that is a that is in a way in the spiritual realm, it benefits you a lot. Because they want you to win so that they can mock the next person. So the next person fans want him to win so that they can more. So you see the direct prayer, indirect prayers coming to, uh, to that particular person. So it is good for business for them, physically and spiritually. There are some people who will drop some good song, but they do not have fans to wish them well spiritually. So there is no energy, no force in the spiritual realm to move their project. But David Do and Whiskey has that. Hmm? So they, they, they compensate each other directly and indirectly. David Do is a busy person. This guy just dropped a Puma collection. Dropped a Puma collection. He's truly, really, 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 really busy, if we should ask. He's truly, really, really, really busy. You can't take that away from him, guys. Puma collection. We have seen so many, uh, let me say, uh, C celebrity or B list celebrities over here dropping a clothing line and uh, doing really, really big stuff. But uh, those, uh, Davido is doing it with the Puma, which is nice. Having your own shoe, come on, man, and your own slippers with Puma, come on. I think that is the big announcement David Doe wanted us to reveal October 1st. So today is October 2nd. And David Doe is currently in New York City as we speak, doing press review, press conference about the Puma release. The outfit is nice, so it's something that I would love, love to get my hands on. So I don't know where can I order David Doe. Let me know where can I. And I can order so that I can order one immediately. I love that shoe. I would like to wear that shoe and then the slippers as well, and then the overall. But trust Nigerians, I believe Nigerians will immediately start making duplicates, evil people. But then again, it will sell because uh, it's Puma now. They have of official, they have they have had their credibility for so long. So what I'm trying to say is that these young men, eh, they are busy. Like, if I mean busy, seriously busy. Despite they have few hours left, few minutes of their time to, to drag and to reply to social media messages, doesn't mean that they are not making money indirectly. Just imagine if Whiskey tweets and you like the tweet and you retweet, he's making money. If he's on Facebook, he posted it, he's making money. 
anywhere now social media is now monetized anywhere he posts that rant he's making money so anything about them is money 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 so the rant not no no not rant you know is still putting money into their pocket so they are busy they are busy which kid is currently was uh, yesterday in uh, the nightclub previewing all his music before even releasing the song. So we do not know when Whiskey will drop the album. We do not know when Whiskey will drop the album. Maybe he's not going to announce it. He's just going to be like, boom, the album is out. Go and stream it. And But regardless, the rest assured, Whiskey fans will be looking to check if the album is good or not. And also... Uh, no, David Doe fan will be watching to check if the album is good or not and Whiskey fan will be streaming it mad to make sure the album surpass any other project. You see the competition, how it's healthy. But they are both making money, that is most important. And they also, this hasn't turned to anything like violence yet. So if not violence, then please, there's no need for beef. If, he's, he, if he involves gang, let it just be this normal talk, I talk, talk, I talk. Yes, then we are cool with that. Eh? Let it just be that normal talk, I talk. But if it, if it starts involving gangs, violence, no, we are none of that. We do not want such thing in our midst at all. We were not groomed and brought up as in Nigeria to be gang-affiliated violence, all those kind of things. We are not that our crews stop on social media then we move on to the next one that's what we do over here that's what we do over here that is where our crew stop and i think it's okay like that it shouldn't escalate to gong to gong gang violence you understand we are still okay with. but if you are not careful these constant artists fighting each other one day one day eh, it will escalate to, to another thing you know? We escalate to fans and fans looking for each other. But let us pray it doesn't get to that point. But meanwhile, they are both busy. They're they, they, they very busy. You see, they are very, 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 very busy. First time seeing my collection at the New York store. Crazy. Hoodies, full track match sets, t shirts, track pants, you know what I'm saying? When it gets cold, shorts, if you're on vacation, you feel me? Everything is on point, so make sure you get to it. Hurry up, side. Yeah, yeah, the official David O. Puma's crazy out now. Crazy man, I have my own shoe. <laughs> That's crazy. Get shoe for Nigeria. Those of us who don't like shoe, we get slippers. Me and wanting to take it worldwide and beyond, and even 
fly me out to Germany, fly me out to Boston, you know what I'm saying? They, they saw the vision. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So I'm saying from the first collection that we did and how crazy it went, then obviously.